Yahweh has called us to be his weapon in the name of Yahshua. I want to be that, that sharpened blade in the name of Yahshua. I mean, bless me, Yahweh. Hallelujah. My rock who teaches my hand to war. Amen. I Yahweh has called us to war. The war. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Yahweh sent us to war, amen. He sent us to war. He sent us to war for the music. He sent us to war for the finances. He sent us to war for our health. He sent us to war for our promise. He sent us to war for our family. Yahweh sent us to war. As soon as you make up your mind to serve Yahweh, Yahweh's gonna cause everyone who doesn't belong to your life to fall off. I am well in the name of Yahshua. Amen. Yahweh, he eats my head to war. He teaches my fingers. Amen. Amen. You versus the whole world. Amen. We're spiritual devil on seven. Yahweh puts you in a place, hallelujah, that it seems as if everything's against you. And Yahweh says, not only are you going to get out, you're going to break others out with you. Each one of us, you can come that little Moshe going to the big foul, saying, let my people go. Every day I go to warfare based on the word that Yahweh gave me. Because every word that Yahweh gives me, the devil comes and he tries to take it. The only way the devil can take your word is to give you to doubt the word. The devil can't touch the word because the word is the living logos and the devil can't put his hands on Christ. We know in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So we know that the devil can't put his hands on the word. But the word has been entrusted to you because once again, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Man should not live by rattles, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of Yahweh. So here it is that Yahweh gives you a word, but yet the enemy is coming after your word, but the heaven above will hold you accountable if you allow the enemy to touch your Christ. Christ translated into the English is anointed. Some of us, we're allowing the devil to get all up in our anointing and rob us, making us into Ichabod, meaning the glory has departed because the word says that I am the temple of the so here it is that the enemy is coming after the word, but yet I was called to war with the word, but my Bible tells me that the word is the sword of truth, so if the enemy touch this word, he's going to get cut. Take it from the sheep. We're at war. The war is over souls, and we're going to win souls in the name of God. We have people who are afraid to talk to the sword. I don't like the sword. The sword's going to rebuke me. Oh, the sword's going to cut me up. I don't like the sword. You better recognize the sword is Christ. You shouldn't be in the five-fold ministry if you're afraid of the sword. I mean, you don't have the right nor the dignity to represent the sword when the very showing of the sword scares you. The greatest confidence is not in the sword, but in the person who will. I mean, I'm nothing without God. But when Yahweh puts me in his hands, oh, I'll say it in his hands. It's Yahweh who quells me. I, I'm welcome. It's Yahweh who puts me in battle. I, I'm welcome. I have no fear because I know who quells me. I, I have no fear because I know who hands I'm in. I have no fear of breaking. I have no fear of being dumb because he knew what I want. Let me tell you what I love about God. What's the worst? Warn you come before the church. Are you with me? Let me tell you what that means. That means y'all are like, no, you won't. This is warning. Is it not? This is warning. So a lot of times, y'all is raising me up. He's raising you up to be a woman. But what is the word today? Yahweh wants you to know you're worthy to be his weapon. You're worthy to be his instrument. Weapon is any instrument for the fight. How many of you pray? I just want to be an instrument of the Holy Spirit. I just want to be an instrument of Yahweh. Hallelujah. You heard of jacking means? I mean, when we read the word, we jack in other people's words. I mean, I be the word for me. I said, no, I'm taking that for me. I 